Hey folks, Sean here from VisibleDark.ca. Great to see you again. And uh, tonight it's looking clear out there. Uh, I see blue sky and the forecast is looking not too bad as well for the, the remainder of the night. That's fantastic. So gonna get some astrophotography done. Finally, it's been a, been a little while since I've been able to get the telescope out and uh, do some imaging. So kind of excited. Uh, what am I gonna shoot? Uh, I was thinking maybe M97 and M108 tonight. Uh, check it out. Um, let's go see how it frames up in the uh, Esprit 100 and the Moravian G3 16200. Um, it should be fine. It should be a nice pairing and it should be a good field of view. Let's check it out. Don't forget to subscribe. And uh, yeah, so awesome. Let's go and do some astrophotography. Okay, so I have Stellarium open and uh, it's set to May 5th at uh, 9.30 p.m. And we're looking north right now. Uh, let's have a look and find M97. There it is there. Okay, I'll just zoom in here a bit. I can close this. All right, so we've got M97 and we've got M108 and they're nicely situated together let's just have a look at the uh, field of view what it'll look like roughly in the Moravian 16200 uh, and Esprit 100 and this is the field of view that we're looking at here so we're uh, we've we've got both in the field of view nicely framed and uh, that should make for a nice uh, nice image so let's uh, head back over to SGP and uh, get things uh, started I use uh, sequence generator pro for acquisition um, and sequence generator pro sgp for short uh, is very popular and it's used by a lot of uh, astro astrophotographers uh, out there and i'm sure that uh, there's even some uh, some individuals uh, that are subscribed to this channel that uh, use sgp and if you do uh, leave a comment and uh, let me know if uh, you like using sgp um, and uh, how long you've been using it All right, so let's uh, get the telescope moved over to, we'll go with Capella. Uh, we're going to uh, s uh, slew over to Capella to do some focusing and, uh, and then um, we can get our LRGB uh, filters uh, all nicely fine-tuned and ready to go for uh, imaging M97 and M108. So right now I'm just taking a frame and focus uh, image. Uh, the telescope has slewed to Capella. It's probably I haven't told it to center on Capella. I just told it to slew to Capella, so it should be in the field of view. And I'm just uh, taking a quick uh, two by two bin uh, image. Let me just uh, optimize the uh, quality here and video quality. And there we go. So we can see that we're targeting capella and uh, the focus uh, needs to be adjusted so I'm gonna go through and adjust all the uh, uh, focus uh, points for each uh, each filter and then we'll continue on okay so I've got focusing done and everything is ready to go so we're going to slew over to M97 and M108 
Okay, so SGP has slewed to the targets and I'll just take a quick uh, frame and focus just to see where it's at. I don't know if you can see that, but I can see the Owl Nebula is here and M108 is here. So M97 is here and M108 is right here. So the SLU is uh, pretty close to being on target. But we can refine that with SGP and we can have SGP uh, plate solve based on the coordinates that we had uh, input for uh, M97 and M108 that was under the uh, target settings we had input the uh, coordinates for it, the uh, objects uh, where we wanted the uh, telescope to center on so all we have to do for that is um, right click and center on target click yes and SGP will run the uh, plate solver and uh, will determine where it's currently pointed and we'll make the necessary corrections to center the uh, target objects for us automatically. And there we can see that uh, SGP has made a move with the telescope and it is just uh, validating a current uh, plate, uh, a current image plate solve to see and it was successful so we can close that and if we look here again M97 is here M108 is right here so we're perfectly centered where we want to be now and we can now uh, proceed to engage the uh, auto guiding and uh, start our imaging run so let's open up uh, PHD2 and we're going to want to connect to all so we're going to connect to the uh, Starshoot Auto Guider and we're going to connect to the EQ6 mount, which it's done. Start looping the images. We've got it set at two second intervals. Perfect. And we'll let uh, a PHD2 determine the best uh, star to guide on. And we'll tell it to start guiding. Now we can minimize this window and let's go back over to SGP where we are going to so we've got m97 m108 checked off and it's ready to go and we've got our events set so we've got our red green blue luminance event set and we're going to do 10 minute exposures and we're going to do six of each filter to start and I can now tell SGP to run the sequence and it'll begin imaging. Before I do that though, I'm going to just do one thing and I'm going to tell it to not focus on the filter change um, just so that it doesn't run the autofocus off out of the gate um, because I already did the focusing. I know that the, the red filter is in perfect focus so um, I won't have uh, SGP's autofocus run in this particular case. I'll re-engage it so that it uh, when it changes to the green filter it'll uh, run the autofocus and it'll also run it on the other filters as well as it changes to them. But uh, there's no need to run it right now because I already know that it's uh, it's in focus. Uh, this is okay. Uh, this warning is just telling me that I don't have auto centering checked off in the uh, M97, M108 uh, target uh, uh, settings. And that is because I'm not running, I'm not setting up for an automated night of imaging. I'm going to be monitoring things for the most part. So uh, if I was going to actually uh, uh, so have multiple targets that I was going to image throughout the night, then I would have it auto center on M97. And I'd have it auto center on the uh, on on M13, and I'd have it auto center on the Iris Nebula as it progressed through the different objects to image, and that would be uh, so that 
the uh, the the automation is there that um, I don't actually have to manually slew to all these objects, get up and, and slew to these objects. I can uh, I can go to bed, I can get some sleep, and SGP will take care of it all. But in this particular case, I don't have auto centering set uh, because I don't need to. So I'm just going to tell SGP that that's okay, and we're going to continue because we know that we are centered on the objects that we want to be centered on. And we can see down here M97 is M108 is now being imaged and it's starting off with the red filter as uh, I've got defined in the event run and it'll continue to do this uh, over the course of the night. So SGP has completed the first uh, image acquisition and it uh, actually uh, performed a peer flip as well. Um, and that was completed successfully. The peer flip completed successfully and it recentered on M97 and M108. Um, this is the image uh, taken. This is the uh, red filter and a 10 minute image taken um, before the peer flip. And uh, it looks uh, very nice. We got great detail showing in the uh, Owl Nebula here. M97 and we can also see some very nice detail in M108 as well so this is going really well and uh, I'm happy with the uh, initial results and we'll see what the rest of the night brings. Let's have a quick look at the auto guiding see how that's going and we can see that the auto guiding is working really really good. Uh, we got a nice uh, flat graph going on there with uh, minimal oscillation This is what my current weather forecast looks like for the night. Um, mainly clear in the evening and remaining clear overnight. Uh, it's supposed to go down to seven degrees Celsius. Um, that looks uh, like a good night coming up. Let's just have a look at the uh, radar, satellite radar, and uh, see where any uh, rain is currently and how it would progress through the night and uh, we're going to just back off a bit here and as we can see everything is looking really clear there's some rain over here on this side and rain to the south of me uh, but everything is looking good let's just advance through and see what happens yeah nothing we're good up until 4 it's currently the satellite showing up until 4 40 a.m. and it's still clear over uh, southern Ontario so that's fantastic and uh, looks like I can uh, basically let the uh, telescope uh, and camera do their work overnight and not have to worry about any rain or clouds. Temperature has dropped um, it uh, is now recording at 12.7 uh, uh, degrees Celsius. Uh, the last focus uh, was done at 14.12 degrees Celsius. So um, SGP. I told it to autofocus um, in addition to autofocusing whenever it changes filters. Um, I also told it to autofocus uh, every uh, temperature degree drop, every degree that the temperature drops and uh, that's what it's doing right now so um, we'll let uh, let SGP do its autofocus um, and then uh, it'll pick up again and continue on with the uh, imaging run. So far everything is going great. Um, M97, M108 data coming in is looking really good. Uh, SGP is continuing to do the uh, acquisition and uh, PHD2, PHD2 is doing the uh, guiding. Um, that also is looking really fabulous as well. So we're going to uh, let things continue and uh, see how the night progresses. Um, I did add, uh, I did change things slightly and um, I'll uh, show you uh, what that is that I did. Uh, just uh, thinking ahead uh, later on in the night um, for automation uh, purposes, I've um, uh, told uh, SGP to uh, stop imaging M97 and M108 at a certain point and swing over to another object. So let's have a look at what I did there. Before I get to how I changed uh, the night's imaging run, uh, this is the current data uh, coming in. I'm still on the red filter. Currently it is doing, I changed, uh, I'm doing eight uh, images uh, of 10 minutes each 
um, and I've changed that accordingly but um, right now we're on uh, frame number six uh, and uh, this is the previous frame frame number five that was completed in uh, detail uh, this is after uh, autofocus was uh, performed by SGP as well um, and details are still looking uh, very nice and uh, that should be uh, uh, good data to uh, work with um, and hopefully this uh, continues for the uh, rest of the night uh, as we all know things can change but uh, for now everything's going great so what did I do um, different I uh, what I did was I told um, I told SGP to stop imaging M97 and M108 at 3 a.m and I have enabled by checking off and have the acquisition the frames set up here to run um, 10 minute exposures I've told it told SGP that at 3.02 a.m. I want it to start to center on swing over slew over to and center on the uh, iris nebula and I want it to image that until 5.30 a.m. And then at that point, um, SGP will um, perform a uh, park of the uh, telescope. It'll stop the uh, imaging sequence and it will perform a park and it will warm up the uh, camera um, to the uh, temperature that I have it set to warm up to uh, from its current uh, uh, minus 25 degrees. And it'll stop the auto guiding and it'll park the telescope and, uh, and then it'll, uh, it'll be done for the night. Well, it's pre-dawn and there wasn't any clouds, which was great. There wasn't any forecasted, but uh, you never know in this hobby. And uh, everything ran well. The telescope did a good job and it's now parked. Uh, so let's uh, have a look at what we got.